Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we wrote a function to display the image. In this video, we will convert the labels into one hot encoded vectors. So, what is one hot encoding? One hot encoding is the process of converting categorical values to integer vectors. So, now let us take an example. In the example of MNIC dataset, there are 10 categories or 10 labels that is numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 which totals to 10. So it creates an array of length 10. In, in case the label is 0, it gives, a it gives a value of 0th item a value of 1 and rest all the other items get a value of 0. Now if the label is 1, it gives value of 1 to the first item of the array and rest all the items like the 0th item, the 2nd item, the 3rd item and all the other items of the array get a value of 0. Now if the label is 2, which so it gives a value of 1 to the 2nd item of an array and all the items, rest all the other items get a value of 0. Now if the label is 7, it will give the 7th item of the array a value of 1 and all the other item will get a value of 0. So this is one hot encoding. Now let us implement this in code. We start by importing the one hot encoder package from the sklearn library and I will ex execute this part of the code. Now let us, uh, this is the same from the previous tutorial and this is the one hot encoding part we load the one hot encoder package in the one hot encoder variable next we convert the single array of labels into individual arrays using the reshape function so it creates an array of shape 42000 by 1 that is 42000 individual arrays of labels what we do next is fit transform fit transform converts the labels that is categorical labels to one hot encoded vectors behind the scenes. Next, we convert the labels into, we give the data type of int to the labels. So now let's execute this part of the code. Now let us check out some of them. I'll execute this. Here the original label was 0. So the 0th element got a value of 1 and rest all the elements got a value of 0. Now let's take another example, here the label is 5, so the fifth element got a value of 1 and rest all the other items got a value of 0. Now let us split the data into training and validation set. Now so I will import the package of train, test and split from the sklearn library. So from sklearn.model selection. import train test split now i'll run this okay so i successfully imported this package now i have already written this code uh, i convert the data into training and validation set the x are the images and the y are the labels x train are the images of the training set X, Y are the images of the validation set, Y train are the labels of training set and Y val are the labels of validation set. I split the data into 80 is to 20 proportion which means the 80% of the data will be the training set and the 20% of the data will be the validation set and I will execute this part of code. Now let us check out the size of the training and validation set. I executed this part of code and got the output. So the 33,600 images are in the training set and 8,400 images are, the, are a part of validation set. So in this video we converted the labels into one hot encoded vectors and split the data into training and validation set. So I hope you like the video, please click, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. 
uh, thanks a lot for watching